Hey guys, welcome to another Ready 80 First Look. I'm Matt, and this week we're gonna be checking out Flylo's Quantum Jacket and Baker Bib. This is, yes. Flylo is an independent ski apparel company that makes some really high quality technical ski apparel. Though they've been around for about a decade, they are a smaller brand and relatively niche in the ski industry. They hone in on skiing mainly and ski touring even more than that. It's actually how they got their start. But that said, they could be great for some other snow sports too. That's just kind of what they are about. But if you are about something different, you just need things to protect you from snow. And that's what they do. The guys who actually run Flylo are the ones who design and even test their gear. So they're making stuff that they unabashedly stand by. These guys live this stuff. Today, as I mentioned, we have their Quantum Ski Jacket and their Baker Bib, but let's start with the Quantum Jacket. The Quantum Pro Jacket is a stormproof jacket with three layer exterior fabric. Makes it super durable, but still maintains a lot of waterproofing and breathability. The fabric has a super fancy Omni blog. That, it's not a typo. And that's designed to keep your jacket three times drier than the typical jacket on the market. This jacket has plenty of storage and has been specifically placed so you can access all of it while wearing a backpack. See, these guys are backcountry people. On the outside, they have two chest pockets, two hip pockets, and a wrist pocket for pass, things like that. And on the inside, they have two really deep inner pockets, zippered, both of them, of course, and one smaller zipper pocket for smaller items, like a phone or something. Some other cool things, and even, I guess, relatively standard things, are they have a powder skirt included with the Quantum Pro jacket, and there are pit zips. That is something that's super important in touring. I'm sure a lot of you watching do know that already, which is why you're probably watching this video, but they do optimize this as a touring jacket. Just because, you know, that said, just because it is a touring jacket does not mean that it wouldn't be great for a day at the resort. This really is a great three season jacket, and it is an extremely lightweight hard shell. And on top of that, the jacket pack's really small, so it's great to travel with. It's super easy to just kind of pack up and throw in your pack. If you are touring on a spring day, then you could just crunch it into your backpack or keep it on the outside and the straps, wherever. I don't know, pack small. Obviously, since it's a hard shell, chances are you're gonna have a lot of layers underneath, but even still with just a t-shirt, it's pretty comfortable to wear. Next, we have the Baker Bib, the other half of this kit. <clears throat> See, I'm a bib man myself. Always have been, ever since I was a baby. This bib is rated for 20K waterproofing and 20K breathability and has the same three layer exterior fabric as the Quantum bib. Quantum jacket, Twin City, population, these things. Flylo included cuff reinforcements on this bib to help with any potential rips and tears. And they have big inner and outer thigh vents to help keep you a little bit more comfortable in those sweaty climbs. Things can get kind of steamy in there. At least for me. In terms of reinforcing, that's something that's very important to Flylo. In their early beginnings, before they even were Flylo, the guys who run it, were taking really you know, fragile, easily rippable mountaineering gear and using that to tour with. Um, that stuff tears pretty easily, and that's something that they really paid attention to and would you know often critique their own. So when they did make their own ski touring stuff, um, they made sure that all their stuff was pretty unbreakable. As far as the overall design of the Baker bib goes, one thing I particularly like is in the back of the Baker bib, it has this softer, hang on. It has this softer, more pliable, I guess just more comfortable fabric. Chances are you're gonna need less covering in the back than the front because you're gonna be going into the high wind. So it does make it way more comfortable to wear in the back. See, it's also way stretchier. And it is particularly breathable, which makes it way better to keep you from having a sweaty back, which is annoying and kind of gross. The Baker bib has easily adjustable Velcro straps on the side of it to make it easy to tighten up and loosen on the fly. And lastly, there's ample storage on the Baker bib. You could obviously see that there is a hip pocket here, there's side pockets, there's a pocket in the back. And more importantly, there are a ton of storage in the chest. You can keep the items that you're bringing with you on your touring adventure close to your chest, literally and figuratively. But in this case, probably way more literally. The Quantum Pro jacket in the Baker bib is a great kit for anyone who wants to go touring. Honestly, it's really great for just being out in the snow in general. You don't necessarily need to go touring to get the most out of this setup. But a lot of the reasons that they built the jacket and this bib the way they did is to cater to people who are going touring. This is really an incredible kit for anyone who's going out in the snow, regardless of whether you're going touring or you're having a day at the resort or you're just making snow angels. Although this is 
probably be overkill for making snow angels. Well, you'll be dry. That's it for our first look of the Baker bib and the Quantum Pro jacket from Flylo. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know what you thought of this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell. Everyone's doing it. All the YouTube people, it's something that, you know, is helpful. So it helps us, makes me feel good. And like the things that I'm doing are, you know, just give me a little encouragement. Just give me a, like a little, click the bell, just do it. You know, like ringing the, ringing the bell. Weird way. That's it for now. Stay tuned for another Ready Eddie First Look coming at you next week.